Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Strength Expansion Pack Japanese Booster Box. This is SM1+, Plus, so this is a Japanese Special Expansion Set in between Sun and Moon Base Set and Guardians Rising. You will see cards that are in both English sets, Sun and Moon Base Set and Guardians Rising in this Special Expansion Set. And something to note with the cards in this set, all cards that are not ultra rare or secret rares are in reverse hollow form. So I did purchase this box from Collector's Cash for $49.99. There are I believe 20 booster packs inside this box with 5 cards per pack. So the plastic wrap is off of this box now. I can give you a little bit better view of it. As you can see SM1+. Plus. This set was released in January of 2017, like that, and here's a look at the bottom. Here's a look at the inside of the box. Every single booster pack has the same artwork on it. So here's a look at all 20 booster packs. And then here's a good look at the artwork on the booster packs. Because all of the artwork designs are the same, I'll open the packs off camera just to speed up the opening. So the very first pack in this box starts with Litten. As you can see, it is a Reverse Hollow. There's a Passimian, Choice Band, an excellent item card. There is a Grass Type Energy. And the final card would be a Primarina GX. And this is a GX Fall Art. So a great start to this booster box opening. Of course, I'll summarize all my good pulls at the end of this opening. The second pack here starts with Marini. There is a Fomantis, Oracorio, Fire Type Energy, and the final card would be a Rare Candy, another very good trainer card. That allows you to skip Stage 1 evolution forms, jumping from the basic to the Stage 2. Dupiter to start this pack. There is a Sandy Guest, Oracorio. Metal type energy. I'm really liking the looks of these energy cards. And the final card would be a Lunala. This card, of course, would be a rare card in English. Next pack here starts with Poliwhirl. There's a Grubbin. Here we have a trainer card, multi switch, a psychic type energy, and the final card would be another Oracorio. I believe Oracorio is in the Guardians Rising set. Poplio to start this pack. Alolan Rattata. Here we have an Altar of the Moon. Metal type energy. And the final card would be another GX card. This time a Vicavolt GX. So second ultra rare pull in this opening as far as the English rarity goes. Of course that Primarine I pulled. A secret rare in the Japanese sets. Mudbray to start this pack. Pukamuku, Oracorio, Grass Type Energy, and the final card would be a Mudsdale. Cosmog to start this pack, Rowlet, Ultra of the Sun, Fire Type Energy, and the final card would be a Breon. Marini to start this pack, there's a Litten, Energy Recycler. Fairy type energy, and the final card would be a Solgaleo. This pack starts with Chargerbug, Poliwag, Cosmoam, Choice Band, and the final card would be a Psychic type energy. Fomantis to start this pack. Here we have a Sandy Guest, another Oracorio, Metal type energy. And the final card would be an Absol. Poliworld to start this pack. Mudbray. Max Potion. Fire type energy. And the final card would be another regular GX. This time a Drampa GX. And if you're looking to discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Or if you're looking to do major damage 
if one of your own Pokemon has some damage on it, this is definitely a good GX card to use. So I paired Drampa GX with a Rainbow Energy, that way I can do major damage with that second move. Do Piter to start this pack. Passimian. Toracat. Grass type energy. And the final card would be a rare candy. This pack starts with Poliwag. Eevee. Enhanced Hammer. Fairy type energy. And the final card would be a Pseudo Widow. Grubbin to start this pack. Eevee, a very good Eevee, an ability on this card allows you to immediately evolve Eevee into whatever type you'd like. Pseudo Widow, Psychic Type Energy, and the final card would be a Dartrix. I really am liking the reverse hollow pattern on these cards, and overall Japanese cards are better quality than the English cards in my opinion. Pukamuku to start this pack, Alolan Rattata, Ultra Ball, Metal type energy, and the final card would be a Palo Sand. Marini to start this pack. Sandy Gas, Oricorio, Fairy type energy, and the final card would be a Stadium card, Altar of the Sun. Poplio to start this pack. Mudbray, Oricorio, Psychic type energy. And the final card would be a Lorantis. I believe that is the card that has the ability that will increase grass type Pokemon's attacks. Three more packs left to go, including this one. It starts with Rowlet, Litten, Enhanced Hammer, Fire type Energy, and the final card would be a Cosmoem. So the second to last pack here starts with Poliwag. Passimian, Altar of the Moon, Grass Type Energy, and the final card. There we go, another regular GX pull, this time a Decidueye. And of the three Stage 2 starters from the 7th generation, this one is definitely the best when it comes to the competitive TCG. The ability on the card allows you to spread damage around. So the final pack here in this booster box starts with Fomantis. Cosmog, Oracorio, Metal Type Energy, and the final card would be a Trainer of Multi Switch. So I can summarize my pulls now. A pretty cool set to open up. I think I am going to try and open up some more subsets or special expansion sets released in Japan in the future on my channel. So out of 20 total packs, I have four good cards to summarize. So essentially, one in five packs will get you something good. I was able to pull out three regular GX in Decidueye, Drampa, and then Vicavolt. And then the best pull of the opening would be the Primarina GX Full Art, which is a secret rare, Japanese rarity wise. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog. Facebook and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you